now welcome back to my channel but i got some beef i, I got something to let off my chest right about now so i just finished reading um harry potter and the half blood prince which is book six of the harry potter series Note well that I've never read the Harry Potter series before. I've never watched the movies, nothing like that. I was not exposed to that as a kid. So, from the starting of last year, when I first got my Kindle and I saw that um, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series was on Kindle Unlimited, I picked out the 10 books. And I was like, okay, I want to see what's so great about Harry Potter. I want to read everything. I want to know everything. Um, I'm going to try the first book first to see like, if I enjoy it. And then if I enjoy it, I'll continue. So reading the first book, I was hooked. I was like, okay, I'm not much of a fantasy reader or anything like that. But... The way that J.K. Rowling creates her characters and, you know, be imaginative and creating other characters in the sense that they're not human was, a, was great to me. So I enjoyed the first book, read the second book, enjoyed it, read the third book, and then had to read the fourth book. Which I took a little while to read. Well, I stopped reading for a while. And then I got just recently, like, for a readathon, I think. I read the fifth book or the fourth book or whatever. But I read the fourth book and that was my favorite book of all of them. I could say, maybe, probably. Because he had the most car new, um... Hold on. He had the most new, like, creatures and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed it. And plus, there was a whole competition and stuff like that. But I read that Dumbledore would die in The Half-Blood Prince. I read it on the internet because, like, I was researching, like, if Harry Potter would die or like whatever with the battle with him and Voldemort because of the prophecy. And then I came across Dumbledore is the one that's going to be dead in book six. And I was like, okay, okay. No problem. I'm, no problem. I can handle this. So, I basically was reading part 6 from yesterday or the day before to now. I think the day, the day before I was reading, I was listening to it. On yes, as I was saying, someone called my phone. So, as I was saying... So I was like, okay, I can handle this, you know. And then I was reading and then and, uh, Dumbledore Han was black, whatever. And I was like, okay, okay. And everything. And then read the part where he's actually being killed. And I'm like, oh, this can't be happening. Like, I'm so like, I've never... I've never felt emotionally connected to um, a character as much as I felt for Dumbledore. Because like he was the wit like he was the man that Voldemort feared the most. He had the most wisdom, he had courage, he was like a Dumbledore was everything. And then now him being dead, I'm like, I don't want to continue. I don't want to read the last book. I 
I'm mad. I want to cry, but I don't. I want to cry, but I don't want to cry. So tell me this, J.K. Rowling. Why do you have to build up such a lovable character just to have him die? Why? He's a wizard. Just give him internal life and done. I'm just so like I, I, I have to take like I don't know like maybe a little two weeks again before I read the last book which I know wouldn't happen. I'm I'm gonna wanna read it right away. But like oh please don't do me this I gotta take like I I gotta read like two books that does not pertain to Harry Potter or any fantasy themes in order to get through my next book because just knowing that I probably might cry tonight just lie down and just cry because Dumbledore died and that is not helping the fact that I've never liked Snape no matter how no matter how Dumbledore trusted him I never liked him and even though they made Snape to be a lovable character, it's just I don't like him. Oh, I do not like Snape. Half Blood Prince, whatever, I do not like him. And like, I actually did while reading this. I actually um did the. Uh, um, test to see which house I we I was in. Well, usually before I used to get like Gryffindor, and then I did a more in depth, and I was like a Gryffindor, and then I um did it last night again, and, and I got half a puff. So I'm a Gryffindor at the end of the day. I'm kind hearted, but I'm also brave. But like, oh. Right about now, the only thing I would have been thinking about was killing Snape. Killing Snape, killing killing Voldemort, and Malfoy. I hate this dude. Like, I don't think me and, like, Slytherin house paired people will get, like, I don't think we'll get together because, like, those cunning tricks, I like, those cunning tricks ain't gonna slide by me. Ain't gonna slide by me. Like, I know when people are trying to con because, like, I'm... Let me tell you, I'm easy to spot those things. And it ain't gonna slide by me, boo-boo. I've never felt compelled to talk to ca- a camera. A camera, whatever. I'll tell you guys how I feel so much about this book. Like, spoil. I don't even know what to name this book. Like, well, what book? I don't even know what to title this video, to be honest, because spoilers, non spoilers, definitely spoilers, because I'm so vexed at. Like, what? Well, at least, like, Voldemort's biggest threat is out of the way, but I'm gonna go and watch the movie right about now. Like, I'm gonna go watch the movie because, like, my Kindle needs to charge. I'm gonna go watch the movie and then cry all over again. <laughs> oh, please don't do me this next time. And, like, I'm I think that it like I think the Harry Potter series is like one of the best written series I've ever read. To be honest, apart from from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, because that's the other series I love. In case I never mentioned this, but that's the first series I fell in love with. And then Harry Potter got me hooked. And then they killed Dumbledore. 
I cannot forgive J.K. Rowling for this. And I know, like, majority of people would already know this, but there are yes, there are people that have not have not read Harry Potter. I'm one of them, but I'm joining the train of Harry Potter fan clubs because I'm. I totally get the hype of Harry Potter, and I don't think Harry Potter, the hype will ever die down anytime soon because it is just great. You know, it just making me like feel to write. Like after fin- like after I finish read the last book. I'm not gonna read like the last last book that it came up what people say is horrible no the last book of the harry potter journey um i feel like reading it and then writing like what if dumbledore didn't die or what if what if um how do I call the um, other Neville? What if the Neville was the chosen one? Wouldn't that be interesting? Or what if, um, what if Voldemort didn't know what the prophecy said? You know, like maybe I could write an article like that. Just get my creative juices flowing, but. Okay, I'm done now. I'm d- I'm done ranting about this because I'm like I'm pretty vexed. I am outrageous. I am vexed. I am mad. I'm like I think I just need to go and read um, Blink. By Malcolm, whatever is his surname. Sorry for you, other, but I can think straight right about now. So peace. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I don't care.